What's up athletes, welcome to today's workout. Today we have a six minute workout coming up. It is a full body workout and all you need to follow along today is a mat and some training space. It is equipment free. What I will suggest for you though to have on hand is an ab mat and I use an ab mat over here to provide some support for my low back. If you don't have an ab mat, then please grab a towel, roll it up, or grab a cushion from off the couch or pillow and follow along. All right, so our first movement today, I'm gonna show you the prescription, then I'll show you your modification. Our first movement today, we're gonna stand with our feet under our shoulders. We're gonna jump into a squat. We're gonna come back in and jump back into a squat and come back in. All right, what your modification is instead is a side step squat. Okay, so if you're also having a little bit of difficulty with that, bring it over into a sit squat, follow along on the couch or on the chair. All right, athletes, are you ready? Through our six minutes, we are going to work for 45 seconds. We're gonna rest for 15 seconds. So I've just shown you your first movement and going forward, I'm only gonna let you know what it is as we transition to the next one. All right, athletes, in three, two, one and go all the way out in and out so i hang out in that pos bottom position a little bit longer so take your time here bring it in and out quickly and come back there that's it keep breathing you got this good work nicely done here Got about 15 seconds left. Let's go. I know you feel those legs. Try not to break. If you need to modify, go ahead, but try not to break. We're almost done. Remember, we're gonna make these six minutes count. Then you won't need to do more. Three, two, one, and break. All right, shake it off. Good work, let's go. Grab that app mat now. Come on to the floor. We're going to do sit-ups. So for our sit-ups, we're in a butterfly position. We have our feet together, our knees out. And with that ab mat, we're really able to help drive that functional movement. If you would like, straighten out your legs. You're gonna find you have better leverage to come up if you're challenging, finding that challenging. Or if you want, go ahead and place your feet under your couch, get some leverage and follow along. Remember, don't beat yourself up if ever you're struggling through any of these movements, because the more we do them, the better we're gonna get at them. So just stay consistent. Good job. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, now let's flip it over. We're gonna get into a dolphin plank next. So dolphin plank, I wanna show you that any plank movement, bring it up over here on an elevated surface and we're gonna push off with our feet. So on the floor, looks the same. Squeeze your bum, stay nice and tight. Do not do this on your knees, please. Come off of your knees if you are on your knees and get back into that plank position, either on that couch or the chair. But we definitely don't wanna be pivoting off of our knees because that, over time, is not going to feel so great. It's gonna give us a lot of problems in the knees. All right. Keep breathing. Good work, athletes. That's it. Stay nice and straight. Make sure you're going forward and back, not up and down. Good, good. Let's go, let's go. And rest. All right. Now, get into an all fours position. Okay, and we're gonna lift up our knees a little bit. We're gonna rotate, grab the foot, come back down, rotate and grab the foot. So this is a pass through. If you want to focus on an alternative for you, go ahead and extend opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, get in that tabletop position. I'm gonna show you in this position also what it looks like. That's 
Jet Athletes. Five more seconds. And break. All right, let's go grab that ab mat one more time. Get into that sit up position. This time we're gonna come up with our hands up overhead and we're gonna twist. So all the way down, hands up overhead and twist. As you twist, make sure you're leaning back, getting that Russian twist position to really work your obliques. Up, twist, twist. Up, twist, twist. Just make sure you're not feeling this in your back. And break. All right, athletes, final movement today. We're gonna get into a mountain climber position. So we're gonna get onto a high plank position. I'm gonna show you up here as your modification. High plank position and run in place. So knees to chest, 45 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. If you haven't already started, keep breathing. Good work, good work. That's it, athletes, come on, let's go. Don't break, come on, come on, don't stop. Let's go, maybe we can pick up speed a little bit. 15 seconds, good work. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, good work today, athletes. If you still have some energy and you go ahead and repeat this one or two more times to make it a little longer for you today or check out those other links I have for you to help balance out your training today. Remember, I love to hear your comments, so please comment. Let me know how this went for you today. Let me know what you like to see and I can help create that content for you. Remember also to like this video and to subscribe so we keep training together. All right, athletes, go hydrate, go refuel, and meet me in your next one.